All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at a new product that caught my eye recently. It's Chemical Guys Hydro Thread Ceramic Fabric Protectant and Stain Repellent. Now that is in a beautiful bottle, just like all Chemical Guys stuff is. But does that matter to us? Absolutely not. I want this product to work awesome. That's what we're looking for. So, what are the claims with this product? Repels liquids and prevents stains. That's gonna work awesome if it comes together because I have a dirt bike truck that I go mountain biking in, my dirt bikes, dirt gets all in it. I end up using my extractor, no big deal. But I'll tell you what, if I can get a product on there that's gonna repel dirt and water, that's gonna be awesome. Works on all fabrics. Now, all fabrics, that's a big claim. So we're gonna put that to the test, at least with the fabrics that I have available in the truck. We're gonna do a seat and we're gonna do a floor mat. The areas that matter the most to me and will matter the most to other people if I choose to use this product. Protects up to 12 months. We have no way that we're gonna sit here and uh, see if it lasts for 12 months, but I'll tell you what, it better work good tomorrow. <laughs> That's what I'm interested in. Let's talk about the application process. Super simple, a light spritzing. They say use a soft bristle brush to agitate the fabric so that it gets all around all the fibers. Any overspray that ends up on the different parts of the interior, we're gonna use PNS Express Interior Cleaner and a microfiber towel to make sure we get it cleaned right up because we don't want products all over the place uh, that we don't want all over the place. After the 24 hour curing period, we're gonna use Tiki Man to dump some water on there. And I'll tell you what, it better beat off, right? Because at the time of this video, this product is just under 30 bucks for 16 fluid ounces. And I'll tell you what, that's pretty pricey. But with that being said, if we can get the whole vehicle done, that's not so bad either. Once a year, all right. So let's get out there, put it to the test, and get it happening. Yeah. Before applying any product, let's get it good and clean. We'll vacuum it up, spray it with upholstery cleaner, Drill brush out any built up dirt or any stains. Extract all the cleaner out of the fabric so that it's nice and brand new clean and give it a good wipe. We'll get that floor mat clean too. Spray the cleaner. Use the drill brush. Power wash out all the product. Follow up with the extractor. So now we'll let that seat and floor mat completely dry. We'll apply the product. I noticed during the product application that it takes a lot of product to saturate the seat effectively. We don't want it to be blotchy or anything. We are gonna follow up with the soft bristle brush, but I did have to put more product than I expected on. Now I follow up with the soft bristle brush and try to get all those fibers covered completely. I try to run the brush in both directions like when you're applying any other type of coating. All right, so I'll speed this up a little bit, but we just continue to process right on around the seat and make sure we hit all the surfaces equally. I take and wipe off any overspray that got on the plastic because I don't want that hardening on there. And after 20 minutes, we apply another coat. It is far easier to get proper coverage with the second coat.
Let's do the same thing to the floor mat. That took a lot of product to get that seat covered, I have to say. We'll spray the product on the floor mat. Work it in both directions to try to make sure we get all those fibers covered. Between each coat, we want to give it a solid 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, we'll go ahead and apply that second coat. I put a little extra on the logo there just to try to keep the dirt from building up on that like it has in the past. So I gave the product a full 24 hours to cure, just like the directions say. And I gotta say, the seats look great. It's nice to have them clean again. But what we're really here to see is, is that water gonna saturate into the fabric? The moment we all been waiting for, here we go. Oh no. It's saturating straight into the fabric. I can literally see the water saturating in the fabric. I would say on that particular piece of upholstery, it was less than 50% effective, if that. Let's try it on the side, which is slightly different. There's some beading, but the majority of the water is just going straight into the fabric. So you can see beading off to the side and saturation right next to it. And guys, we put a lot of product on here. This is not what should be happening. If that was coffee or Kool-Aid, your interior would be gone. We still have the floor mat and I got high hopes for this product. I really want this to work. Oh man, it's the same thing. Right where we pour it, it's just saturating straight into the floor mat. There is some beading around it, but man, it's not working great. Let's get it wiped up and let's try it again. Uh, same thing, beading all around where we poured it, it went straight into the floor mat. Even when I wipe it around, it saturates in. And we did apply the product thick, and we did it in all directions with the soft bristle brush. So I'm positive all fibers were covered. All right, so we finished our test. And what do we think about that? The Chemical Guys Hydro Thread Ceramic Fabric Protectant and Stain Repellent? I gotta say... Not that impressed, man. Especially since on the Chemical Guys YouTube channel, they're spraying it on, barely misting it, and man, the water's just rolling off of it like you wouldn't believe. So I kind of had some high hopes. And at $30 at the time of this filming for 16 ounces, and I used about half of the bottle to do one seat and one floor mat. So you guys can do the math and see how much it would take to do a whole vehicle. So with that being said, I don't like to judge a product for something that I believed it would do. I want to compare it to the claims that the company said it would do. All right. So repels liquids and prevents stains. It didn't do that. Let's take a quick look at the seat again. Water penetrated into the seat, which means that had it been coffee or something else, it would have went into the fabric. Let's take a look at the floor mat. The floor mat, same thing, penetrated in. Not all of it but a lot of it, enough of it. We're looking, for, when they say repels liquids and prevents stains, we want it to repel liquid and prevent stains, not some of it. So I gotta say, I'm not impressed with that first claim. I'm giving that a no. Works on all fabrics. It did not work on the Nissan Titan, which is a very common vehicle. And it's a vehicle where people would want to use this product on uh, due to the fact that it's a four wheel drive and they tend to get dirty. So this would be a common product should it work properly uh, for this type of vehicle and it didn't work on this fabric it may be it may work well on other fabrics i don't know like i said on the chemical guys channel it's just peeling off of there like nobody's business so but they were using different types of fabrics than the fabric that i had but it does not work on all fabrics that's a fact protects up to 12 months now i didn't get it to last more than <laughs> 12 minutes, it didn't work at all, much less 12 minutes, 12 months, anything of the sort. So I'm gonna have to say, protects up to 12 months. No, man, it does not. So I feel like that for me personally, and this is my personal opinion, that the value was not there. So leave a comment down below if you've used this product and had a different result. I'd like to hear it. Um, 
you have any questions about the way I used it or anything that I did during this video, leave another comment down there and I'll try to answer everything I can. If you like these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so that you'll know when we're going to do our next video. All right. And as always, hit that like button because that helps us out big time. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, yeah.